Hello guys, what's up? It's Jade, back with another video. And I don't know if you noticed, but I changed myself into a goat. Because I can. <laughs> um, but anyways, so today, we're gonna get back to doing some building videos, so we're gonna learn how to build a cabin. Just like a, a simple little cabin in the woods. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so to start off here, guys, I marked out our foundation with some coarse dirt so it doesn't grow back. Um, the front entrance um, is going to be 8 by 5. The back of the house is going to be 7 by 18. Alright, so first we're going to work on the walls of the house. So you are going to need... Spruce logs, strip spruce logs, dark oak trap doors, glass panes, dark oak doors, spruce stairs, and spruce planks. So we are going to start off, we're going to take the spruce logs and we are going to build up three in both corners. And then we're going to take the strip spruce log and build up three. And then you're going to go one block over and build up three. And the same thing, one block over, build up three. Then you're going to take the staircases, put one there, um, and then one here, upside down. And then this is going to be the doorway, so you're only going to need one up here. And then the same thing over here. And then we're just going to put glass panes. Sorry, I put the door backwards. There we go. And then... We're going to move on to the side of the house here. So this is basically just like the front, so you're going to go just like that. And then the staircase is down. And then for the sides and the back, you could space out the windows as much as you want, um, but I will just do a quick time lapse here of me putting together um, the sides of the house in a way that I'm just gonna, I guess, in a way that I'm gonna pick from my brain. Alright, so we're back. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to put trapdoors whoops on the corners of the um the house. So we can go ahead and do that. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is build up um, the front entrance so that it matches with the roof. So first, you're just going to need to put uh, build that up one, and then you're going to use spruce planks, and you're going to go up two, and then. You're going to take your stripped logs again, and you're going to build up to there, and then you're going to go up two, actually. And then you're going to put, so this we're going to make a window for um, the top level right here, so we're going to put a block, staircase, window pane, 
and a staircase upside down, and then you're going to put a block on top of it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing over here, so block, block, build up two, and then here, you're going to build up two past the spruce block, and then just mirror that on the other side. Alright, and there you have it. There, your walls are done. So now we are going to move on to the roof. Alright, so the only materials you're going to need for the roof are um, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, and dark oak slabs. So, to start off with this front entrance here, you're just going to put a line of slabs, but make sure you go one past, and then you're going to put a slab here, a staircase, upside down staircase and one more staircase and then one more upside down staircase and then you are going to put a block and then a staircase and then you're going to put another upside down staircase and another block and another regular staircase and then here you're going to put an upside down staircase and then you're going to put a backward staircase and a slab. And then you're just going to mirror that on to the other side of the entrance. Alright, so next we are going to be making the side part of the house. So, you're going to connect these slabs together, uh -huh. and then... Shut up! <laughs> okay, and then you're going to put another slab, staircase, 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 and another staircase, and then a block, staircase on top, and slabs there, slab here, or sorry, staircase, and then another slab. And then you're just going to mirror that to the other side, and then mirror the whole thing on the other end of the house. Right now we are going to work on connecting um, the parts of the roof together. So basically, you're just going to oops, fill it in and connect it all up together. And you're just going to do that for the whole roof. And I will make a little time lapse of me doing that because I don't think I have enough words to say to get me through this whole entire roof process. So enjoy.
so that is it. The roof is done. So next we are going to move on to some exterior decorating, including an optional fireplace. So let's get into it. Alright, so I chose to use, for my exterior decorating, I'm going to use sp uh, stone brick walls, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, lanterns, spruce leaves, sweet berries, campfire, and spruce trapdoors. So first, what I'm going to do is put two little posts right here with lanterns, just as like a lighting source. And then we are going to put leaves where the um, strip spruce wood is, and then berries where the staircases are. And then you're just going to repeat that around the entire house. Alright, so next we are going to mm. add on the fireplace, which is completely optional. It is completely up to you if you want to build it or not. But I'm going to be building it on this side of the house. So first, I'm just going to take away the berries and bushes. And then I'm going to break the blocks that are here. Oops, not that one. <laughs> just these three intermediate blocks here, and I'm going to fill it in with stone bricks. Uh -huh. Alright, and then I'm going to put a layer of stone bricks like that, and then one staircase there, one staircase there, brick, and then a staircase, and oh my gosh, you guys are in my way. <laughs> And then I'm going to put a stone wall here, a stone wall here, and a lantern, and a lantern. And then this is completely optional as well, but I am just going to put two furnaces right there, um, because the way I want to do my interior, there's not going to be room for a furnace inside of the house, so I'm going to put it right here on the outside. So as you can see, that is how I decided to put my furnaces. Um, you might even be able to go one block more, but... That is totally up to you. So next we are going to be adding the um, chimney that comes with the uh, furnace or fireplace. So we are going to break this block because it's going to make sense, I promise, when we build the interior. So you're going to place stone bricks. And this can go up as high as you want, but I'm just going to build up three place a campfire so that it looks like the chimney's smoking, and then place trapdoors around the campfire. Just like that. And it looks like the chimney's smoking. So, that's it for the exterior decorations. Right, so I'm going to be moving on to the floor next. The only thing you're going to need is dark oak planks. So first you're going to have to clear out this entire floor, and then you will have to fill the floor in with um, dark oak planks, so let's just get right into that. Alright, so that is the floor. Alright, so if you decide to add a fireplace to your house, we are now going to be adding the actual indoor part of the fireplace. So first, we're going to take smooth stone, oh, the materials by the way, smooth stone, iron bars, a campfire, stone brick stairs, and stone bricks. So we're going to take these smooth stone bricks and break two blocks out from this brick wall. Please, or fill them with the um, stone or smooth stone. Oops. Place a campfire right in the middle, and then we're going to put 
two blocks beside it, two staircases, and upside down staircase, and then just fill this in up to the part where the chimney was up there. And then you're going to take iron bars and just cover the front of it. And there you go, you have a fireplace. So I'm going to leave the interior completely up to you guys, but I am going to be showing you my interior later on. But first, I'm going to give you some pointers um, on how to make your house just look more housey, I guess, more homey. Um, so the only things that you're going to need are lanterns, spruce stairs, and spruce logs. So first, I'm going to make a strip of spruce stairs going around the house. So I'm going to start over here, and you're just going to place spruce stairs the entire way around the perimeter of the house. Alright, so the next thing is, I'm just going to make some beams, um, just to make the house look um, a little more, a little cooler, I guess. So I'm just going to put a beam here, and then another one right here. I'm going to make one going down the center um, above the door. So here, and then continuing on. And then I'm just going to put one here, going through the center of the house. And then I'm going to personally leave this part open because of the fireplace. Um, that's up to you. You can put something there if you would like. Um, that is completely up to you, though. So, the next thing, um, to add some lighting, since there's not much room um, because of these beams, there's a really cool thing. I am just going to put lanterns on top of the cross sections of these beams because it adds light to the house without taking away from the space. And then one other thing um, that I would like to add really quickly, so to cover in or to make these holes look a little more natural, um, I'm just going to place spruce stairs in the corners um, where the beams are, just to make it, you know, look a little bit more natural, I suppose. But um, other than that, that is my interior suggestions. So now I'm going to move on and create my own interior. But your guys' interior is going to be left completely up to you. But I will show you um, how I did mine. Alright, I will give you a little tour of the inside of the house. So, we come in the front entrance here. Um, I put chests um, all over the uh, little shelves that I made. Um, it's just a good way to keep them out of the way, but still be able to have a lot of storage. So first over here I put a little crafting table um, with a lectern, it's just like a little desk area but also useful because you could use the crafting table. And then you've got a little uh, bookshelf over here, I'm sure you probably could find a way to put a um, enchantment table. I mean, you've got three blocks that you're able to use um, to give the enchantment table its full power. Um, I also put some dyed armor here. And then over here by the fireplace, I put some little chairs using campfires. And in case you did not know, you can use a shovel to put out a campfire. Or you can also throw a splash potion of water um, and it will put out the fire. Then we've got a little table here um, with some bread and a flower pot as a cup. And then finally, the little bedroom area um, with two beds and a little flower pot in the middle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this building tutorial. Um, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas, guys. Come on. Um, but anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.